punching. I believed it in my core. I keep thinking. This has to have happened for a reason. Maybe this is what I've been waiting for. Maybe I'm finally part of something. Bigger. These seats don't recline. It's so beautiful. Huh. Why call it the Golden Gate Bridge if it's not golden? There are so many other kids. I bet their stories are all amazing. Competition is what makes us strong. Mm. What if they don't like my story? What if it doesn't fit in? It's got to be perfect, you know? When you were born, your brother said you had googly eyes. What? But I thought your eyes were the most beautiful things I had ever seen. We are all unique, Kamala. You should be proud of who you are. I love you, Abu. I love you more. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna win this thing. Oh, could you imagine? I'm the winner. For best fan fiction ever is Avengers versus the evil sewer lizards by Kamala Khan, and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> That's the spirit. <laughs> hmm. Promise me something. Win or lose. Oh, I'll always be good, Abu. No, oh, Beta. Good isn't a thing you are. It's a thing you do. That's my girl. Folks, we're approaching the Avengers West Coast headquarters on the left, and we'll be touching down on the Chimera soon. Hurry, Abu, let's go! All right, all right, hold your horses. Contest, here I come. I get your name? Kamala Khan. And this is my dad. Yusuf. The Khans. Great. Make sure to check out our comic scavenger hunt. Collect all five and get access to the VIP balcony. Once you've collected them all, just scan your phone at the elevator and you're golden. Have fun. <laughs> Don't you have enough comic books? But the VIP balcony. I have to. Pretty cool. Still hoping to see the real thing. On behalf of... The Avengers and Shield have a wonderful day. All right, let's do this. Let's go! 
old wife. Not bad at all. And this comic is now mine. Yes! Two down. Oh, darn. Are you okay? No. I already got this comic. I need the Captain America one to finish the set. Wait, if you get doubles, you want to trade? <laughs> sure. Cool. See you later. No, this one's all out. Oh my gosh! Repulsor gloves! Oh, oh, this is so cool. Ah, what atrocity is this? Ah, apologies. You are very small and hard to see. There is no need to cower before a son of Odin, though I understand the impulse. What is your name? Kamala Khan. Uh huh. And what is that thing you are holding? Oh, it's a high density muon beam. A Model 3 Repulsor Club. It's Tony Stark's first love. <laughs> Odin's beard. About as intimidating as the man himself, hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, you're funny. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Behold, a true weapon that needs no improvement. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he, if she, be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. <laughs> Indeed. The difference between Stark's trinkets and the gods' might. I guess. But every hero has to start somewhere, right? <clears throat> yes, <laughs> yes, of course. You are very wise for one so young. Thanks. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala Khan. Hmm. I will remember your name. <laughs> I can't believe I just met the God of Thunder. Mind blown. Uh, comic books. Prize. Focus. in World War II to smash Hitler in the face. This is so cool. You're in the way. I'm, I'm sorry. This contest should only be for the real fans. <laughs> hey, what makes you think I'm not a real fan? I deserve to be here too. You really think that the Avengers read your little story? Get out of here. <laughs> And the press and the whole world tell you to move. You plant yourself like a tree beside the river of truth. And you say no. You move. What? You ever said that? A real fan would. Yeah, whatever. Let's get out of here. You know, for what it's worth, I thought that was pretty brave. Uh, thanks. I'm guessing you're a Captain Marvel fan. She's <laughs> off planet, but she would have liked to meet you. I'm sorry, you're Captain America. I'm Kamala. Kamala Khan. Khan. Your story had the evil sewer... The sewer lizards, yeah. 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 Thor really got a kick out of that one. 
Said they actually had a sewer lizard problem on Asgard once. I, you read my story. Everyone submitted. <laughs> that is so cool. Hey, Cap, we should head to the stage. Tarleton is losing his nerve. Have you seen Thor? He should be here by now. Uh, I saw him. I, I saw him, yeah. Uh, he was over at the Stark booth, but he's probably not there anymore because I saw him leave. <laughs> Who's the kid? Nat, allow me to introduce one of our esteemed contestants. This is Kamala Khan, expert on all things evil sewer lizard. Oh, all right. Hey, that thing you had me do with the storm drain cover? Pretty badass. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing compared to what happened between you and Madame Hydra. That was wild. <laughs> uh, we should head to the stage. Right. It's nice meeting you, Kamala. See you around, kid. I'll see you around. That was Captain America. Damn, Black Widow. I'm dying. Another comic Ladies down. And gentlemen, the strength of the God of Thunder. Can I try? <laughs> so close. Oh, thanks. Almost done. VIP balcony, here I come. That's yeah, those scientists from, from the TV. Terrigen was meant for the people, not some toy for billionaires. It still can be. Stay focused on what matters. Our work is going to change the world, George. I know you don't like the pageantry, but it will be worth it. He'll want control, profit. We won't let him. This is your moment. With Stark's funding and your mind, you'll be a hero to all those people. Can't you see? We are so close. There you are. Bruce. <laughs> you disappeared this morning. There's always work to be done. I know, always. What is it? Nothing. It's some little thing. Just getting some strange readings off the, uh... The reactor. George, maybe you were right. Maybe we were too hasty to put this on public display. Do you think we could run over the numbers just one more time? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, certainly. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Hey, what are you doing back here? Uh-oh. I'm, um, I'm lost? Sure. Let's get you back to the main event, okay? Huh. I already have this one. Hold on. Maybe I could trade this one with that other kid. Hey, I got the comic you wanted. Awesome. Trade you. Pleasure doing business with you. That's it. I got them all. Now to get up to that VIP balcony. Remember to collect five Director, aren't you concerned that your helicarrier's reactor might be incapable of containing this Terrigen? We know Trust nothing me. of... We wouldn't be moving forward if this wasn't completely safe. The Chimera delivers the safety and protection of the Avengers and S.H.I.E.L.D. combined. Thank you. <gasps> Bruna's never gonna believe this. Oh, hey kid, but be careful. Oh.
that make us heroes look a lot more impressive than we actually are. We're also unveiling a new clean energy source called Terror. I'm told it's quite powerful stuff. And to explain how it works, the man who discovered it all, Dr. George Tarkov. Uh, thank you, uh, Cap <laughs> Captain Rogers. The Chimera is powered by a new mineral, Terridrid. Three years ago, I found a strange rock, yes, in the San Francisco Bay. Upon further tests, it was clear this mineral would be I... Hello, San Francisco! The city of fine people, good food, and no parking. I am working on the no parking thing. Hey, back. We should get out of here. Come. Sounds pretty big for an accident. There are no accidents. Thor, Tony, check it out. At once. Try to keep up. Grab the Quinjet neck. Just in case. On it. Uh, yeah, obviously. We're gonna let you catch up. Whoa! This just got a whole lot more interesting. Let's make this quick. Where? Thor, see if you can clear a path on the bridge. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Mortals trapped. Lots of small, angry men with guns. Uh, I just caught them up. Maybe I should have had a bigger breakfast this morning. Thor! Thanks for the assist. We got civilians trapped behind those barricades. Understood. Stay behind me. I will deal with them. This should be fun. Thor, who are we dealing with here? They did not introduce themselves. Hang on, those guns are shield issue. I'll get Commander Hill on the line. Cap, they picked today for a reason. Agree, Bruce. I'm staying with the Chimera until we figure out what's going on. Is on the way. You first kill the
got confirmation. A shield convoy was hijacked this morning. Is this from one of Fury's morning briefs I never read? Come on, Tony. Those are important. Okay, whatever. Pulse on rockets. I'm glad Fury kept all my best tech in one place. Those rockets are doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I know. I built the damn things. Cap, we should secure the Terrigen Crystal if that thing gets hit. Already on it. Tarleton's heading down to the reactor chamber now. Stay behind cover. All right. Which one of you B-movie extras shot at me? I'm on it. The convoy is carrying classified shield prototypes. Fury is tracking down the full manifest. Hell! How's the cat? Well, tell Fury I really love being shot at with my own weapon. We'll keep you updated. And Goose is fine. Ha! Ah, I didn't know you were listening to that part. You'd think these idiots would be running away by now. Can't shake the feeling we're playing catch up. There's something else going on here. That ship's not ready for flight. Why is it moving? Someone's initiated the security protocols. The Chimera's autopilot has taken over. You'll need backup. We're heading back. Negative. Secure the bridge. Those weapons can't get into the city. Copy that. You're up, Bruce. Yeah. <sighs>
Bringing in the Quintet for a landing. are dangerous, Stark. Hey, those weapons were meant for the good guys. Is that supposed to be a joke? Not the time. Get your heads in the game. Cap, what's going on over there? Not sure, Nat. Seems like the reactor's malfunctioning. I'm getting strange readings on the monitors. Like we're being pulled to a heat signal in the bay. Down! <laughs> Repeat that, Cap. I'm having trouble here. Nat, do you read? All hands. The Chimera is under attack. Evacuate the civilians. Fire in the hole! Go! 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 Have a look, shall we? Now that is an entrance. Taskmaster. Off, it could liquefy everything within a 10 mile radius. Well, what are we waiting for?
first field leads into another. Keep up. I've learned a few tricks since we last met. Doesn't matter. I have this. Damn it. Hand it over. Come and get me. <laughs> Taking your usual notes? What? The more I fight, the more you learn, right? It's called photographic reflexes. Come and get it! Taking your usual uh, notes? What? Oh, come on, the more I fight, the more you learn, right? It's called photographic <laughs> reflexes! It's called
always one step behind. You're after the Chimera, aren't you? What are you gonna do with it? Such is the highest bidder? I'm after something much more valuable. What's that? I won't spoil the surprise. Saw that coming, huh? You think you've won? What the hell are you talking about? Look around, Romanov. The world will remember this day. The day their heroes failed them. <laughs> What's happening here? The city's collapsing. Steve, can you hear me? Get the hell out of there! Screw this. The Avengers paraded dangerous, untested technology causing damage on an unprecedented scale. Our beloved Captain America was killed during the attempted theft of this technology. Thousands of other innocent people died, and many more still bear the scars of what has come to be known as A-Day. Hundreds fell sick, encased in strange cocoons, only to emerge with dangerous, otherworldly powers. With no known cure, the disease has spread across the country, and while both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers promised to rectify the situation, it was Dr. Banner's testimony that brought about the end of an era. You so-called heroes transformed San Francisco into an infectious, gas-filled quarantine zone. You unleashed diseased, powerful beings that wreak havoc throughout our nation. Many still lay dormant, unidentified. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Yes. Their activities outlawed, the once mighty heroes disbanded. But out of tragedy is born hope. 
After the government liquidation of Stark Industries, Dr. George Tarleton, himself a victim of A-Day and founder of Advanced Idea Mechanics, thinks science is the solution to our nation's problems. I wish I knew what happened to Captain Rogers that day, but I was nowhere near the reactor room. I don't have those answers, but I can promise you this. I will use this second chance to make you safe. AIM will find a cure for the inhuman disease. Comforting words to those families torn apart by the disease. But is he too confident? Many criticize AIM's tactics. This so-called resistance army grows stronger every day. This is Phil Sheldon reporting live at the A-Day anniversary. Come on, where'd you guys go? There's gotta be a clue here somewhere. Hello there. If you get it right, copy everything. We'll find you. Now we're talking. Whoa, Retro Stark. Do you have a moment to talk, Beta? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> the girls are leaving for the mosque retreat in a couple of hours. It's still not too late to meet them at the bus. It was tonight? Kamala, we talked about this. Going to the retreat will be a good time to get away from all of this. Breathe some fresh air, laugh. Nakia will be very disappointed if you don't go. You're right. I'll think about it. Good. Very good. There'll be ice cream, eh? <laughs> oh, and best of all, no boys, so lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Beta. I love you more. But you don't get it. <sighs> okay. Where were we? Password hint. First love. Hmm. Oh. What? Oh. Come on, Kamala, you got this. Oh, right. Dang! Come on, guys. No way. I can't be it. Oh my god, I'm in! I'm in! I can't believe it! Oh. Right. Uh, copy everything. Bless your inflated ego, Tony Stark. <laughs> I really kicked the hornet's nest. Gotta get to headquarters and check out what's on this flash drive. <laughs> 